Hello, I'm Dr. Amit Kishore and I welcome you to our segment of case discussion and today we will focus on the thyroid gland. Uh, as you all know, thyroid gland is dealt with in detail in medicine as well as surgery because the thyroid disease is primarily a medical problem but has a lot of uh, surgical intervention required in many of its pathologies. So today's case discussion is going to focus on the thyroid gland. So what is your name doctor? I'm Ranadeep. And uh, what are you doing right now? I'm doing my final MBBS in Usmanabad Medical College. Okay. Um, so would you like to start with today's case? Yes. Sir. Kamala, a 20 year old female Hindu patient who is a resident of Warangal district came with the presenting complaints of swelling in the middle of the neck since one year. So why is address important in this patient? Because it's a neck swelling, uh, it could be a thyroid sir, and thyroid uh, can arise in endemic areas of iodine deficiencies. So to rule out that, I inquired about her address. So that is correct. So thyroid disease uh, could be endemic in nature. Certain areas are more uh, predisposed to having thyroid problems. Can you name some areas that you know? Mountainous areas like Himalayas. So in India, the Himalayan, sub-Himalayan plains and the Himalayan areas uh, have a predisposition, yes. Can you name some globally? Alps. Yes, the Andes. Alps. Yes, the Andes. Yes. So, since the world is becoming a global village and since you're going to be traveling abroad in a few years uh, to gain further knowledge, I'm sure that you should have a little bit of a global perspective. So, mountainous regions are predisposed to iodine deficiency and therefore you could get a goiter. Why did you ask for age in this particular patient? Different conditions of thyroid present in different age groups, like just like uh, simple goiter present uh, during the physiological stresses like uh, pregnancy, pubertal age spurt. That's correct. So this patient is uh, 20 years old and uh, has gone past her puberty. And how long has the swelling been there? When, since one years. Sir. So she is 20 years old and uh, is she pregnant? No. Sir. So she is not pregnant. This uh, could go a little against the diagnosis, but it is more likely that a physiological swelling of the thyroid gland occurs at times of physiological and metabolic needs, as during a growth spurt, as during puberty, and as during pregnancy. So as you mentioned, uh, age is very important. Go ahead. She came with the presenting complaints of swelling in the front of the neck since one year. So you have to use simple language when you talk about uh, the presenting complaint and the history of the patient uh, so that it's in the language of the patient or the translation into English but it has to be the simple language yes so she presented with a swelling in the front of the neck don't say that she had a uh, thyroid swelling in the anterior aspect of the neck which would be a wrong way of presenting go ahead her history of present illness began one year back when she noticed the swelling in the middle of the front of the neck it was insidious in onset and uh, it progressed to the present size. So uh, the swelling was slow growing. Insidious would be a medical terminology. So therefore it would be slow growing. And then uh, why did you ask for this, whether it was slow or rapid growing? So malignant tumors are usually grow fast. So malignancies tend to grow faster than benign conditions. Even infectious conditions. Okay, no, but is there any particular condition that you know where there's a rapid increase in size of the thyroid gland? No. So in case there's a hemorrhage into a cyst, there could be a sudden onset of pain or there could be a slight increase in the size of the gland. Go ahead. It's not associated with any pain or fever, sir. So as I mentioned, pain would be uh, present in which conditions? Infections, hemorrhage into cysts. So in case well, there is an infection, or it is a case of thyroiditis. I mean later stages of malignancy. Later stages of malignancy when nerves are involved. Yes, there could be pain. And uh, what was the other symptom you asked for? Fevers. Fever. So where would you get fever? Infectious conditions. So Infe not all thyroiditis is due to infections. Only some thyroid pathologies are due to infections. Thyroiditis in general could also be autoimmune. So you have to use the term thyroiditis as opposed to an infectious spread. Go ahead. There is no history of any other swellings in the neck. Why did you ask for a history of uh, other swellings in the neck? 
one is to rule out uh, secondaries in the lymph nodes if it's a malignant tumor sir and even tuberculous lymph nodes can be multiple or involving on both sides. So let us limit to this particular case. You were looking for secondary lymph nodes. 